the advantage to the Angolans, but they'll pick up the pieces as they come forward. To the near side now, good ball control. The Angolans look good when they are coming forward. Yes, Manuel. Manuel lays on the pass to Jesus. Jesus tries to find Manuel. He doesn't go through. Picked up nicely by Dalla. And the Angolans have really, really found it very difficult trying to beat the defense. That was a good shot on target. Nicely done. But of course, Lawrence at Tiziki had it covered all the way before Ribeiro. Yeah, beautifully done. Lovely strike by the captain for the Palancas Negras, Freddy Alfonso Ribeiro. He's been very energetic. Picks up those incisive passes. This one, he went for goal. Game was on. Yes, Dennis Odoi. And at times, the frustration you can feel from the fans looks like the uh, build-up process a bit too slow for the Black Stars. Yeah, it's all about the organization from the Angolans. It's making it difficult for the Black Stars to put passes together and get through them. Here's Amate. He's held the fort at the back quite well, Amate, in this first 45 minutes. And here's Ado battling for it and wins the advantage so says the referee yeah did very well it's it's good battle for him he won the battle clearly to the near side now here's jordan good pass uh, from jordan kamal dean he's uh, surrounded by three shirts and ball has been taken away from jordan lovely tackle from dennis odoi Ball will roll over the line. The advantage will stay with Ghana. Ghana first with four points after match day two. Angola are second with four points on the Group E qualifiers. Tells you how close the battle will be for qualification. Of course, Ghana's next game will be when they play as guests to the Angolans in Luanda. Yeah, it's always been a close shave when the two teams come up against each other. The last time the Black Stars beat them, it was through courtesy and a somewhat chance goal. Through the middle now, Kudus lays on the pass, still keeping the ball to themselves. As Thomas Pate lays on the pass and the reaction shot is uh, from uh, Inaki Williams. He wins a corner kick for his effort. Yeah, again, lovely play from the Black Stars. Pate in full flow, picks up the pass. Jordan will set it up for Inaki. That intelligent shot, it took a ricochet to corner kick the Black Stars. Forty-eight minutes gone. We're still in the first half. We're playing time added on. And kudos to the fans. They have been chanting, singing their hearts out for the best part of the game. Yeah, and this man is looking for his first victory. His first game as the Black Stars coach. Time will tell, but here's Jordan Ayu. It's going to be another deep cross, and goalkeeper does well to come for it. Adelson has not been really tested in the game so far in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah and Jordan with a swing again. It's so close to the goalkeeper, Adelson de Cruz, and it's very easy for him to pick up. I mean, you look at a goalkeeper of his stature, very tall, lanky goalkeeper. And those deliveries must be away from him a little bit. And uh, Giggly went down heavily, but he says he's okay. Half time whistle here at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. Total Energies Africa Cup of Nations Group E qualifying match between Ghana's Black Stars and Angola's Palencras and Negras. It's ended goalless here at half time. Lots of chances created by the senior national team, the Black Stars, but have not been able to hit the target. The better side, they've shown prowess, they've shown quality out from the Black Stars, but just can't find the needed finish up front. They've been very dangerous, but for the Palancas Negras, they will go um, into the second half feeling wet down for them in the first half. They were really trending. They showed glimpses of how brilliant they could be and how dangerous they've been throughout the whole 45 minutes. It's been an amazing game so far. An amazing game we've had here at the Babayara Sports Stadium as the two teams set off for the uh, dressing room. We definitely will also be taking a break from here. But at the end of the first half, it's the Black Stars of Ghana nil, the Black Antelopes of Angola 
nil. We'll be back again. Running at them, this especially is an for the qualifier for the 2023 Total Energies Africa Cup of Nations to be hosted at La Côte d'Ivoire. The Angolans are on the offensive as they go, go daringly forward. Who would go uh, with his uh, opponent, clearly keeping close tabs on him. Manuel tries to go around Amate. Amate takes a tumble. And again, look at the reaction from the Angolans. They thought they could have gotten something out of that. It's Ariel Parra, uh, Manuel Afonso at his tricky best. Went past Amate. And Amate will not give up the ghost. He uses his body very well. Got something out of that body check. And he was really threatening Manuel Afonso. By three minutes uh, shy of the uh, halftime whistle, and again the buzz in the stands tells you clearly that Guardians are here. And uh, that's the uh, head coach uh, Pedro Concalves. Guardians yeah. are solidly here to support the Black Stars in their quest to beat Angola, maintain their pole position on the league log. Look at the crowd, massive crowd indeed. Yeah. I mean, it's back to the brim here at the Babaya Sports Stadium. And I can tell you for a fact, many people are outside the stadium and can't get into the stadium. This is remarkable. Remarkable scenes, remarkable atmosphere here. It's the uh, maiden game for head coach Chris Hilton. Well, Chris Hilton called for it. He says... He needed the number 12 men to be here, and that was the fans. Now they are here. Just look at his demeanor. This is Chris Hilton. His first game for the Black Stars. And the Stars have really played well. They've created so many very decent opportunities. They just can't find the finish. The goal has just not been there. It's not been coming. And that's the uh, head coach, Chris Hilton, watching the game closely. And telling them what to do as they come forward. This is Odoi. Odoi finds Jordan. Jordan controls nicely, but he will need the support. Support will come from Captain Pate into the 18 yard box, a bit too strong. Again, the Palancas niggas making it difficult and very tight for the Black Stars to go through. It's Pate picking up the pass. It's it. Come on, Dean Suleiman. Make a run. It's just. Kellen one to him and it's well over him. And Angolans will breathe a sign of relief. They definitely will breathe a sign of relief. Because Ghana has been hitting them and hitting them hard from the flanks. Confirmation of time added on five minutes. 45 minutes of action up here at the Baba Yara Stadium. Dean goes down, gives the advantage to the Angolans, but they'll pick up the pieces as they come forward. To the near side now, good ball control. The Angolans look good when they're coming forward. Yes, Manuel. Manuel is on the pass to Jesus. Jesus tries to find Manuel. He doesn't go through. Picked up nicely by Dalla. And the Angolans have really, really found it very difficult trying to beat the defense. That was a good shot on target. Nicely done, but of course, Lawrence. Atizigi had it covered all the way before Ribeiro, of course, have Yeah, beautifully done. Lovely strike by the captain for the Palancas Negras, Freddy Alfonso Ribeiro. He's been very energetic. Picks up those incisive passes. This one, he went for goal. Game was on. Yes, Dennis Odoi. And at times, the frustration you can feel from the fans looks like the uh, build-up process a bit too slow for the Black Stars. Yeah, it's all about the organization from the Angolans. It's making it difficult for the Black Stars to put passes together and get through them. Here's Amate. He's held the fort at the back wide well, Amate, in this first 45 minutes.
Да. Handled with Sulemana by Ndefi. Here's Hulk Costa. Nice little ball, too, hooked round for Freddy. Up against Jiku, goes past him as well, does the Angola captain, but then there's a good recovery from the Ghana defender. Ziggy will retain his place as the number one goalkeeper with Wallacott free from injury now as Freddie plays it in. Atiziggy's double fist away to the edge of the area at least. Here's Helda Costa. Freddie again. Again, Garner makes slightly heavy work of getting the ball away. Two more rounds, of course, of qualifying after. I should say uh, two more day match days of qualifying after this. One game in June and one in September. Ghana away to Madagascar after going to Angola and then they're home here to uh, Central African Republic. As Freddie plays it in. Dangerous ball it was too. Gideon Mensah with the header. Really look vulnerable to the aerial ball as Sir Atisiki. Wow, what on earth was Nebula doing out there? It's a really good bit of anticipation, though, actually, from the Angola goalkeeper. Didn't expect to see him that far out of the goal, but he clearly anticipated his opposite numbers move. That he did as well. I think it was Sulemana who was going to burst onto that quick goal kick. Uh, time wasting. 